I'm now going to discuss an amazing concept, reality. Most of us have a fundamental misunderstanding of what reality is. And the reason we have this fundamental misunderstanding is we see reality divided into two zones. One is holy, good, selfless. The other is pleasurable, selfless, decadent. And that's why there's this tremendous confusion. Some people, many faiths, those people that are spiritual, they go to mountains and they meditate their whole life. Other people think, well, I don't want any of that. I just want to, I don't know, indulge, whether it's sex or whether it's drugs or whether it's, you know, fame. And they forget about the spiritual side. And you actually see this, that people who go to the spiritual side often leave the physical side. And people who are involved in the physical are very much, most of the times, not very spiritual. So there has to be a happy medium. It cannot be that God made us on this world that we have to escape the world to have some kind of nirvana, some kind of good feeling in our hearts. And the answer is very simple, that there are actually three possibilities, not two. The first possibility, like we said, is positive. The second possibility is negative. And the third possibility is neither positive nor negative. It's quite simply self-serving. In other words, kosher is a good example of this. Now, kosher is an obligation for Jewish people. It doesn't apply to Gentiles. But as a Jew, God tells me, if you have this food, this food will be good for you. Fine. Then there's another food that I'm not allowed to have. This food is bad for you. However, the real essence of reality is that we are creating the structure of what things become. In other words, there's a very famous um, Japanese scientist, and his books have become very, very famous. His name is Dr. Emoto. You can Google his images. And what he discovered is an amazing thing. If you take a drop of water and you say a blessing, you say, thank you, God, for this water, suddenly the water, which has atomical structure of a hexagon, which is like a stop sign, six sides, becomes like a beautiful snowflake. A snowflake also has six sides. And it's obviously a water crystal that's frozen, and it, it becomes very, very beautiful. You take that same drop of water, and you say a bad word. Um, for example, you can say, uh, I'm going to kill you, and suddenly it takes on, in fact, you can see a picture of a man with a gun. So the energy that we have in our hearts, for example, I hope I have a positive energy, and now you watching this are feeling good. If, God forbid, I had a negative energy, I don't want to even go there, but if I was shouting, you would feel bad. In other words, 99% of what's going on in this world is things exist in what's called a neutral state. They are capacitators of energy. Imagine hardware and software. Now, whatever I choose to put onto my computer is going to be on my computer. If it's a positive energy, if it's love and it's good, then it will feel good. It will be good. If it's negative, it's, God forbid, hate and violence and maliciousness, it will be bad. If it's neither love nor hate, it's simply about, I don't know, a job, right? So a job is a means to an end. What do I use that money for? Do I use it to love people, to help people, or do I use it for, I don't know, to, to show off, which would be a negative thing. So everything in this world is really exists, and this idea of the water crystal is a perfect example. It's a plain six-sided hexagon. And yet, if a human being comes and says, thank you, God, suddenly you elevate that thing, and we believe that God's light permeates that thing. And we believe that this world that we are in is like, imagine, an upside-down cone. It's a tiny fraction of the zillions of universes that are above us. Generally speaking, in Kabbalah, we speak about four major universes. It's a major subject that I don't want to get into. But the bottom line is, 
Each one of those universes contains itself zillions of universes with different angels and different demons and different beings, etc., etc. The point of this subject is as follows. We have been given the capacity to change reality. There's a story of Rabbi Shmuel, who was a great mystic, and he once walked by a place and he told his son, who later became a very great mystic, he said, in this spot, 150 years ago, a Jew prayed. He was able to sense this energy. And there are people that can see energy and they can see more positive or negative auras and things like that. In fact, there are even now cameras that take pictures of auras and you can see the difference of positive and negative energy. There's curly in photography. Everything in this world is giving off um, an amazing amount of real energy that you can see. And as we said from Dr. Moto, you can see when you're positive, something looks beautiful. When you're negative, it looks gnarled and it looks actually negative. And then there's just the state of nothingness where it hasn't been affected positively or negatively. So the bottom line is one of our major missions of life is to take our positive energy, right? If you did the last chapter and you have gratitude and you're feeling positive, then when you interact with someone on that level, they receive that positive energy. When you interact with something, so going back to kosher food, we believe you have to say thank you to God for the food. And if you're a Gentile, say thank you to God for whatever you eat. And by saying thank you, you change the atomical structure, which is a fact, of those atoms and you make it beautiful. If you go outside and you say, wow, this is really beautiful, do you know that every atom that you saw, which as you probably know, atoms interact with people. Atoms are usually in a wave state or when people look at them, they become stationary. We believe an atom has a soul. It's a conscious soul of God. And therefore it, has an, it is affected by the human being, not only by looking at the person, but how the person looks. So understand that you, whether you like it or not, as quantum physics says, are a creator. And if you fill your energy with positivity, then everything around you will be positive, And again, that will be reflected back to you. Thank you.